Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. Of all file transfer services out there, perhaps the easiest to use is an HTTP or HTTPS file transfer service, also known as a web file transfer service. That's because users don't have to install anything. All they'll need to upload or download files from your service is a web browser. If you're using Jscape MFD server, setting up an HTTP or HTTPS file transfer service is easy as well. Let me show you how it's done. To set up an HTTP file transfer service, go to Settings, and then Web, and then click the HTTP on Host checkbox. Beside that checkbox are two drop-down lists. The first one is where you select the IP address or host name on this machine where the HTTP service will be listening on. And the second one is where you select the port number for that HTTP service. In most instances, you'll just want to leave those values to their defaults. Port number 80 is the widely accepted default port number for HTTP, so if a user loads up your HTTP file transfer service on his or her web browser, that user will no longer have to specify any port number. Once you're done, click the Apply button at the lower right-hand corner to proceed. With that, you would have enabled the HTTP service throughout your Jscape MFT server instance. Meaning, all domains on this instance where HTTP is enabled will share the same HTTP service. Speaking of domains, let's now enable HTTP file transfer service on our domain. Go to the services module and click the add button. Expand the protocol dropdown list and select HTTP slash S. Click OK to proceed. Select HTTP, uncheck HTTPS, and then click OK. If all goes well, you would have enabled the HTTP file transfer service on your Jscape MFT server instance. Before you can try this out, be sure you already have an existing user account on your server. Here, I have a user named User1 that I can use for testing. In case you don't know how to create a user, you may read the online documentation or watch the video. I've provided links to those in the description or in the post. Alright, let's now load up our newly enabled web file transfer service. Launch your web browser and enter the IP address or host name of your Jscape MFT server instance. In my case, I'm just going to enter a local host. When the login page loads, Enter the Jscape MFT server domain on which you enabled your HTTP file transfer service. After that, enter the username and password of a valid user account on that server. Once you're inside, you can perform several operations like upload a file, create a new directory, uh, download a file, rename, delete, download a zip file, change a directory, and so on. Let's just upload a file for now. That's it. Now you know how to set up an HTTP file transfer service on Jscape MFT server.